Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Banjo Kazooie and right behind us is Rusty Bucket Bay. This is the only level I think they need to swim into. So yeah, let's get going. And this right here is another of my thoughts on why it must be portals. Because this whole area is not entirely flooded. It's pretty flooded, but it's not entirely. Alright, well, this world... Its uniqueness comes from the fact that you take damage if you touch the water. You probably won't even believe that until you actually have to see it. That's the sad part. We're going to grab ourselves some musical notes. And per usual. Uh, there's no Mumbo's transformation in this level. So there's also no way to make the... Um, the water not damage you. But, you don't have to spend a hell of a lot of time in it if you know what you're doing. So, let's hope I know what I'm doing, yeah? <laughs> oh god, I don't ever know what I'm doing. Right, if you find a toll, you just put in that amount of eggs. And you've got it. I'm not even going to risk going for that. That one was talking just sitting there taunting me, knowing that I do not want a risk going for it. Alright, I'm going to walk along the edge of this carefully before we go back and do the other thing. Oh, that was a little dodgy. Anyway, so let's see if we can do it from here. Drink a gag and see. see if I can do that. Yeah, that worked. Now, this is all a. Uh, Right, I'm going to have to zoom in and see if I can... Okay, if I can make that jump, then I can get that jigsaw piece. Which we did. Fantastic. We should probably finish exploring this area, though, because I know my luck. If I don't, it'll be... Up we go. And it seems that there's no way up in this area. If I'm wrong, then fair enough. And yeah, this world is, as I said, a lot more difficult than you'd expect, simply because, see, your air doesn't even refill immediately. You can't just do the trick of jumping out the water and hoping that. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could grab that number of You can't even just jump out the water and hope for the best. You can do the jump along and you'll take damage a lot slower. But, eh, this is just as easy to do. To avoid it entirely. Eh, ah, crap. I actually fully intended on going for the... Ah, sorry, it'll go for it. Ah, crap, snack comes back. I'm going to go for the gin joke. And then we're going to get ourselves out of this gun if we can. I'm glad there's that giant hole, because there wasn't... And Snacker doesn't come out of the area. But if there wasn't that giant hole, we could have been in trouble. See, the annoying thing is, normally when you're swimming, you can just go underwater and go a lot faster, but in this, you don't want to risk it. Because you lose, as uh, Gunthilda said, you lose the air a lot faster. Right, there could have been more notes down there, but I guess we'll find out, like, nearer the end of the video, when I've got five notes to get, or whatever it is. And we've searched everywhere on the map. 
So, go here and up this building. Well, we've got ourselves a craft. I bet you this is an auto kill if you land in it. Never wanted to risk trying anything in here. Crap, it's not an auto kill. Not an auto kill. Fantastic. First thing I ever landed in that crap. Oh, but I think it takes your uh, air and your health off you. But we got ourselves that green ginger. Nothing to complain about this. Now, you, those TNT boxes, when they explode, will do a bit of damage. So just kill them with eggs. And we can get up here. Right, there's a four egg toll down there. Right, oh, this is going to be a time limit thing, isn't it? 16 seconds to get up this. And along as well, that's the depressing bit. Ah, camera, what are you doing? Yeah! I think it stops loading because I'm underneath it and it can't really lock us in. But as you can see, when we go out of the way of it. Anyway, some of these things are enemies, which is really irritating. Other ones you can jump down yourself. Right, got a, got a kill there. Wow. My attack didn't kill it, so it hit me. Oh, no. Alrighty. You can, I'm about to take damage because I want that mumble total. And you need to jump in an oven to get it. But it's worth it if you get as many bumble tokens as you can. Right, some of the portholes can be broken open and jumped into. I'm not doing brilliantly this time, am I? Still, bundle of notes we can grab and some um, gold feathers. Yeah, I'll take that. And another jigsaw piece. We're up to three. Alrighty. Right, yeah, let's explore the other side of this part of the boat first. Not in there, but we can get in there. What is in here? This world, by the way, is home to what is meant, considered by many to be the hardest jigsaw piece in the game. I'd say it's home to the two most difficult jigsaw pieces in the game. But, hey, that's just my opinion. Unless I'm mistaken and thinking of something else. There's some other. Oh, see, that one's an enemy. Because it just spawns eyes and teeth when you get too close to it. Hmm. I know there's something about that. I know that I've got to do that in an order. Let's think. Alrighty. I'm going to go with three, two, nope. Ow. If you take damage, you get it wrong. Well, three was right, so one must be next. And then it'd be two. 
against you again? Nope. So three... One... Two... One... Sort of process of elimination. Oh! By process of elimination, we got it right. First time. Anyway, <laughs> fair enough. Let's claim this, because this allows us, I think. I don't think you can claim any higher up on this side, but you can go up the next side. We can go up the smoke stacks. Huh. Get at the top. <laughs> I wonder if we can get gold. Just notice that right as I was passing. Let's jump up and see if we can get on top. That mumbo's token, fantastic. You guys can get that on the other side as well. It means I think it's 25 to get the last transformation. And well, the last transformation is one that we could all probably really, really use. Oh, a Jiggy instead. I can deal with a Jiggy instead. Right, let's get ourselves down. Simplest way possible. By dropping. And then let's go down to the next level of the ship. Well, that's an enemy. That one's not, we can jump into this one. Where are we? Whoa! Damn it. Got another one. Whoa, I'm sure uh, Damn it, damn it, that was unfair. That was a horrible combination attack. Got him that thing. Got him that thing. Grab ourselves that bit of health to replace the one that at least he chopped um, chomped away. There's a gold feather there, but I think we've already got ten, so we don't need another one. And God damn it! Right there we go. Nope. And nope. We're going to grab these notes and then come back onto this ship. 51. So there's less than half of them left. Oh. A little door. Horrifying ball to go. Let's drop ourselves down this and see what happens. Oh, there's that little alcove there. I wonder what to get in there. We must be able to get in there. Yeah. Aha! Honeycomb! We've got one of the. Oh, Christ, I recognise this place. Oh, Christ, I hate this place. Right, oh. You move quickly, because that's a bottomless pit down there. You are not getting fucked up if you actually get in there, caught in there. Now, I do believe these things slow down every so often. I don't trust them enough to just run across them. I'm going to jump as well. Basically, there's going to be a lot of things I'm going to avoid today. I'm not going to go for any of the mumble tokens in this sort of area or anything like that because I don't like them. I don't trust them. I hate this part. I'm not 100% sure if that ever goes to flat. I'm going to watch it one more time and then I'm just going to go. Sorry, it doesn't. Flip! 
run and jump because I don't trust it to it. Oh jeez, Christ, I hate this bit. Oh, I feel like we can put this slow down one of the fans somewhere else as well. But let's, let's hit this one. Ah, it slows down propellers. Christ, I hate, I hate these whole areas. I hate everything about this place. This is, this is hell. This is what this is. This is specifically designed to give children anger issues. And trust issues. Because almost every time before this, if you fall, you'll find you'll land somewhere. Even if you aren't surviving the fall, you know there's ground below you. In this one, there's no ground anywhere underneath you. You just need to hope. Right, the one I'm about to go for actually, I think, but it is considered is the one that's considered the hardest jiggy in the game. Because when we hit this, those fans go so slow. But we've got, as you can see, 65 seconds to get ourselves back out of here. Please tell me they're stopped. They have. Fantastic. I can jump down here. This looks to have stopped. If it hasn't. I'm very angry with it now. <laughs> it's difficult because you need to find it. You need to know what side of the ship you're going for, and I have no idea. I'm going to assume the closer one, because if it's not, that's a cruel trick. I'm so glad I remembered it then. 30 seconds. Doesn't seem like it's that bad, actually, to be fair. But remember, we need to get to the back of the ship, which is down there. I again assume. Swim out, swim in, and get that jigsaw piece all in that time. Ah, fantastic. Just stop, I can jump, I can swim under. Let's get that jiggy and get the hell out of here. Oh Christ, no, 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 there we go, we glitched out, we glitched out, or that was lucky. Okay, by sheer dumb luck we got away with that. Although I'd say that sheer dumb luck is my forte. <sighs> well let's get back on the ship then, whenever we can. Huh. <sighs> As I've said in the past, I absolutely abhor this level of the game. Every other part of the game is entirely fine, this bit is hell. Especially when the camera angle doesn't exactly do you justice, you know? Right, where were we then? We were just up there. Well, there's not that much I was wanting to do other than that, on the ship, other than oh crap. Pay attention for one thing, but damn it, I don't like it keep getting hit either. There we go. Is that an enemy? Yes, it is. Let's not go near it. Wow. Let's actually get in here though. Hey, you got a kill. Hmm, feathers on every one of the beds. Yeah, only red feathers in the beds. But we got a bundle of notes, so shouldn't complain. Ah, that actually tells you. Ah well. Hey, there's no one talking down there, and that one I'm willing to go for. All right, let's get up here. Right. Must be a top of that as well. Ah, uh, see it. We're going to jump down here first. Now, yeah, I was going to say if I was right that this was the fan area or the engine room fan, and it is. It should just slow, it doesn't even stop them, it slows them down a bit. 
Anyway. We will be going for that again in a wee bit. We'll, you know what? Yeah, we'll go for that last out of everything in the game. As it is, we're going to grab ourselves some musical notes. We're going to see what's on top of that flag, if anything. Nope, nothing at all. Then we're going to grab that Mumbo's token over there. Right, 20. I'm sure we can find 5 in the next world, you know. Shouldn't be too difficult. Seriously, why is the camera being so bad today? Alright, we need to get back across to the opposite side of the map where we got the first train earlier. So, let's get moving. We've got a decent bit of ground to cover here, just to get across. I'm just glad that it takes until you die for, people, for enemies to respawn. Die or leave the area, so... Seeing as we've done neither, we've not left roughly with a bay, and though that bottomless pit trap didn't actually get us killed, we can't complain too much. We've not got as many enemies as we did. Right. Okay, we don't need to jump back up, back up onto that crane anymore, but we do need to fire out. Four payment. All right, let's get. Yeah, that's fine as long as I can just keep going and know where I am. That's fine. All right, let's win. May as well investigate the areas, yeah. Oops. That was again my fault. I can't explain too much of the game. Oh, we're gonna have another one. Of those Fantastic. A lot of these guys, isn't there? Bubble, was it Plankus Cavern that we have seen those guys last? Hmm. Ah well. We should get inside. Oh. There's things in between the crates, but anyway. Well, there's a group of TNT bots right there. Damn it, that one got me. I was hoping that they wouldn't be able to hit me, but oh crap, there's two more. That's upsetting. <laughs> but we've got an extra life for, um, let's say, killing all of them. We all know we didn't kill any of them, they all killed themselves. Maybe it was for surviving all of them. Alright, we hop on top of these things. We can drop into the locked one. Which, I'm not sure why we would do so though. Well. Doesn't appear to be anything in here, other than enemies. So let's get rid of the enemies and then explore this area. Okay, well we're out of uh, bad guys, let's have a wander about, see what we can see. See, that's the thing, it doesn't look like there's anything useful in here, I might be entirely wrong and I've just, just completely missed it, but... You know what I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything... Oh, this is why we are here. Maybe it's just because there's lots of feathers. Ah well. Find out later, by the way, but I bet you that I was meant to be there for something. And why is... Ah, crap, have we got to get back to this place somehow? Ah, can we can't even get up there. 
uh, we'd have to jump from the ship, I think, to get to that, which is irritating. We're gonna have to go back to that crane to get to the ship. Ah well. Of course, we might as well pay the toll once we are over there, so that we don't need to do it again. So we can just keep running around if we ever need to go back that way. Right, we'll use the train to get back to the ship. Whoa! There we go. That's there. Right, we're going down, going down, and we're on the ship. That's the thing, I'm even willing to take damage if that'll get us off the, uh, that, that'll get us onto the trains part, so we might as well make a decent jump from a decent area. Although, I do see a TNT tape which appears to be attached to the train. Yeah! There we go, we can get across the train that way. And we've grabbed ourselves another golden feather. Eighty-eight is not bad going. That's a bit of a wonky uh, passage, isn't it? They don't use the word wonky anymore now. Ah well. There we go. That's the other eight. That's all the tolls in the area paid. So. There's one upside. We need to get across because we want the orange ginger. We want to be at least able to collect all the ginger because we're going to do anything else. Well, all the available ones. I think there's one that sadly is underwater. Right, there's the blue ginger and there's the pink ginger to go. It occurs to me that maybe that blue bit, that blue container, had a ginger hiding in it because, well, we're, we're better to hide them than somewhere that infuriating to search. Let's see if we can get across this narrow, narrow bridge set without the camera clipping and just and ignoring my instructions. Yeah, we can get across. We're just careful. It's just like the um, the passage in, in after Mad Monster Mansion, I guess. Right, let's jump back in and see if we can find him. Because I, I, I'm ninety nine percent sure now he must be in here. Ah. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. The pink one is the one that I think it was the one I thought it was underwater. Being fair. We'll get that, of course, before we go back to the um, before we go back to the engine room to get the final jigsaw piece because I do not want because I probably will just stop it there so you don't have to watch as I probably fall to my freaking death. But anyway, enough of that dreary subject. Let's get back up. And we drop the TNT crate, opening up a brand new area on the ship. There's a few more jigsaws to- oh, there's the Gontilda switch. I actually never noticed that last time, let's jump across and hope we can reach there. No! Maybe, maybe we could reach there if I hadn't, um, if I hadn't been going for 
just double jump straight away. Huh. Well, let's side lacrosse. We now can't use our other trick because the TNT box is gone. I remember about the witch switch, we could have grabbed that before we got rid of the alternate access, you know? Ah well. And up we go. That was my own mistake. There we go. Alright. See, as far as I've noticed, there doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be any flight pads in this world, which is irritating because we can't then use flight pads to reach the witch switch. Ah, what happened there? Right, one last try and then I will just surrender and get the witch switch later. Uh, it's a very tedious swim back, isn't it? Anyway. Well. Right. This, of course, being... I'm not sure why this one is the sex tool. Whereas a, a much simpler one was the 8. Surely you'd put it more expensive for more difficult. Or even better, more expensive for easier. By like just swapping the order round from the 2 and the 8. Alright. If we fail, we're just going to try to drop into the, um, into the hole. Nope, not making this. I don't know how you're meant to make that. Um, is there a shock jump pad around, maybe? Ah well. Down we can drop. Oh goody. You just keep firing eggs at him, eventually he breaks. I'm not sure how many it takes, but he does break a promise. There we go. Sadly, he runs two smaller ones. We just keep attacking the one out of the two, though. Oh, no, there's no glitch hitting one another. We might as well just keep attacking until we've got all of them. I do think that the uh, 200 eggs must re uh, really does help in this situation because, you know, you're trying to get rid of a lot of enemies. We might have to manage this just because we've got the 200 eggs on. over 150 eggs, but we got there eventually. So there's only three jigsaw pieces left to get. One of them being the engine room piece, and one of them being huh, our favourite. The ginger was... still need to go get the pink. Alright, I'm going to go get ourselves, uh, us, another of the jigsaw pieces, the one that's 
I've not mentioned yet, actually. So you can see that um, dolphin down there? Rescuing that gets you a jigsaw piece. Because rescuing anything in a Banjo Kazooie game, or a rare game, does seem to help you out a lot. So not only does being good feel good, being good helps you. Now, it's trapped under the anchor, so the easiest way to help it would be to swim into the anchor bay. Right then, the major issue of course being that you're still in dirty water when you surface. Grab that as well. And get rid of these guys. Two, three, four. Alright, I'm going to try to remember where the, where the other one would be. There's got to be another. See, it just looks like I should cut them up. Uh, anyway. I am slightly lost as to where the as to where the last of the musical notes are. I know that I think there's only four of them left under there. Uh, at the what do you call it? See if we can get the jiggy just now. Nope, stop risking it. Stop risking it. We'll go for that in a minute. Ah, oh, we're gonna get the drowning animation. I think. Nope, nope, there's a ladder right there, we might manage this if we just... I don't want to say cheat, but glitch our way to victory by doing the jumping through the water. Alright, I think if we go from about the... here, about this part here, we could probably get the jigsaw piece without too much difficulty. There we go. Right, might as well get the, um, pin the pink jingle now. I'm pretty sure there must be another porthole we can open. Because they all had, like, if they had any, they had four musical notes in them. You know? So, we jump down here and swim to that little grate there. Grab the pink ginger, which sadly also has a lot of the big stuff each to make sure we grab that. We did something. The major issue, of course, is trying to swim your way out of a vent, out of that tiny, tiny hole you're given to get out of it. Huh? Right, we should be able to use that buff, that crate, yep. To at least get our air back. Oh, we managed to jump back to land from it as well. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that uh, place we entered first does have some musical notes in it. Hmm, yeah, I'll go check. The tolls, of course, is the reason that there's so many eggs in this level. To make it easier to afford them. Yep, there are notes over there. I wonder how I didn't notice them last time I was here. Ah, damn it, I was mowing by a fucking fault as well. Let's see if I can do this then. No, nope, no chance. Ah. Uh, Oh, is that is that one lower down maybe? That's that's fantastic. You can get back up. Ah crap! We got attacked by a second fish. When that fish hits you, you go far, don't you? Just 
glad there wasn't like a bottomless pit there because I, well, don't like the bottomless pits. That's cheating if you use bottomless pits in your game to make it more difficult. So we should only need four more musical notes. Yeah, we do. And if I remember correctly, there were four musical notes in the engine room that we will be now attempting. Oh, should we attempt that or should we go for the witch switch again? Hmm. Yeah, so we'll go for the witch switch and we'll see if we can get it by, well, by climbing up on the ship itself. So if we can, then that's fantastic. If we can't, damn. Ah, oh, thought we might be able to grab the rope. Hmm. Really not. Oh, okay. Trust me, I don't have the extra honeycomb piece yet. But for love nor money, I'm having real difficulty remembering where it is. I bet you'll be in that place, one of the places near that beck and pool that we've been, dodged, we've been jumping into and out of, thanks to. Uh, Alright, let's. Uh, we'll go back there in a minute. Let's try the engine room again. Because it shouldn't be too difficult. Shouldn't be in the keyword, but it shouldn't be too difficult now that we've slowed down the fans. I say we've slowed down the fans, and then it turns out that they're going almost as fast as they were. Of course, it doesn't help your camera angle at all, does it? Well, we've got all the notes. Does that move? Bet you only moves and I'm breaking one. No, nope, we're fine. That right there is one of the hardest, is the second hardest jigsaw piece in the game, in my eyes. The propeller one is, of course, the most difficult one, but that one is just, it's unforgiving. You make one mistake and you've lost a life, you know? I love how I seem to be making it look pretty easy just by not, because I'm not taking any real mistakes, I've not actually I've hurt myself, but not too bad. Anyway. Well, now all we need the extra honeycomb piece and the Gratilda switch. So, I think it's time for us to try for the Gruntilda switch again. And we can do that in a simple and effective manner. Getting onto this train will allow us access to the other train. Now, I'm pretty sure you can enter that building over there. That one with the yeah, yellow glass roof that we've not been able to smash anything on. There's a part of me pretty sure that I must be able to enter that. And it would, would have to be through um, the pool with the sharp uh, snacker in it. If I'm wrong, then I'm not 100% sure where I'd be going to get this other honeycomb piece. But I've done it before, so it, it must at least exist. Well, we're almost uh, getting our next chance to get the room to the switch. If anyone else can think of an easier way to get this, by all means let us know. 
in the comments or whatever. But as I said, there does appear to be exactly zero damage. Exactly zero flight pads in this unless. No, I thought I was being terribly stupid and there might be a point on the uh, actual on the actual thing I was to fight, you know? Alright, let's see if there's a see if we can get that extra honeycomb piece. See if the camera angle of follows again. There we go. Hmm, I've actually had another idea. Maybe if I jump off the smokestack. That'll be one hell of a jump to manage it though. I honestly sincerely doubt that you could do it. But we do need to find a way to get that, so... Yeah, I can see there's a hole in there. I'm really hoping that is a hole and I'm not just being an idiot. It does appear to be one. But of course, it doesn't help that the shark's going for us as well. Yeah, there was a hole. That's fine then. Right, let's get out of this dangerous and poisonous water. Aha! A flight pad. A single flight pad. Not that we're going to actually use it. To do anything useful, we can probably use it. Yeah, there's a honeycomb switch. Ah, oh, you'll need to, you'll probably need the flight pad to reach that then. If you could use the flight pad to escape, that would be perfect because then you could use it to reach Gunfilda, but I don't think you can. There won't be a there's no holes in the roof or anything, so. Right, we've got ourselves that other honeycomb piece. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, we're not getting out any way other than swimming. See, that water looks clean. I'll be fair. Comparatively, at least, it looks pretty clean. Ah, crap, I'm swimming to the clean. Ah, can I not... get out except when I'm surfaced? Damn it, I didn't realise how small a hole that really was. Well, we've only got one thing left to collect, and that's the witch switch, and I have no idea how we're going to get that. Uh. Probably should have went for actually going on the train again, because that's our best, I think that still is our best bet. We definitely can't grab that. Oh, we can! Didn't let us do it last time. Oh well. Can we reach it? Yes! Well, we've got it this time then. I think that's everything in the level. This is definitely all 100 notes. It's definitely all 10 jigsaw pieces. It's both honeycombed. Yeah, we've got everything. Fantastic! We managed to make it through the hardest level in the game and it didn't even take us an hour. Well, might as well get ourselves going. Alright. Well, that was Rusty Bucket Bay, ladies and gents. I've been El Chivo, this has been Banjo Kazooie. Thank you all for watching.